RNA polymerases are enzymes that initiate a new RNA chain on a DNA template. There are also such things as RNA-directed RNA polymerases. For the purposes of understanding synthetic biology, you are likely to encounter two of these enzymes. First is the one that produces the RNAs in the cell, and the other is T7 RNA polymerase. Though the native enzyme is important to understand in the context of gene expression, only the phage one is commonly used in vitro, so we'll focus on that one. T7 RNA polymerase is used for both in vivo and in vitro transcription. When people speak of T7 expression systems, the PET vectors, BL21 or DE3 strains, they are talking about systems employing the T7 RNA polymerase to control the transcription of an engineered gene. It produces very high protein expression levels in vivo, but it also can be used to generate tRNAs, mRNAs, or ribozymes and aptamers in vitro. The substrate for T7 RNA polymerase is a double-stranded DNA with the T7 promoter sequence shown here. The polymerase binds to this sequence, displaces the scent strand, and initiates a new molecule from a G residue at the end of the T7 promoter sequence. When the polymerase reaches either the end of the DNA, which is called runoff transcription, or when it hits a terminator sequence, the new single-stranded RNA is released and polymerization can begin again.